Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nancy Drew Labyrinth of Lies. In the previous video, we destroyed the fly system, which is not good because now Gregor will be upset with us. I need your help fixing the fly system, since you broke it. Oh come on, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was, it, it was, uh, uh, Brenda Carlton, Deirdre Shannon, it was the guy with the beard, okay, it wasn't me. Reasonable. How do I do that? Just check the tablet. Oh. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Oh, I thought he would be really mad at us, and, and instead he's cool. Huh. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem upset at all. So, stage notes. Lights and cues. Let me see. Something else about cues. Thanos' lines. I don't see anything about the fly system here, actually. Um, yeah. I need to figure out the password according to the notes. So according to Xenia's script here... Oh wait. Oh, this is the thing for the fly system. That's helpful. But according to uh, Xenia's notes, Gregor, uh, Gregor's password is first, last, and repeat. So the first letter, then the last letter. Now we repeat. First letter, last letter, first letter, last letter, first letter, Last letter, first letter, last letter, first letter, last letter. Hmm, what's this? Casting sheet hidden inside the red stitching in his bag, huh? Hmm. Can't do that now. Oh, oh, we, we can't do that now. He, 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 he would probably see us breaking into his bag. I need to counterbalance the weights to the production settings. Alright, let's start this puzzle! In the amateur sleuth mode, these are the various weights. You need to connect the weights to what those things are. So for example, the temple base is 80, and the temple base is stylobate, so we need to get 80 there. Let me see, I believe we can get 80 if we do 20, 20, and then 40. There are multiple solutions to this puzzle. So we have 80 there, now we need to have 60 on the enablature. The plinth has 40. The pediment has 80 again, so let's go with 60, 60, and 20. The portico has 100. And everything else goes on the peristyle, which which the peristyle is the courtyard decoration, so it's the heaviest. Got it. Now maybe Gregor will talk to me. In Master Sleuth mode, the weights are 96, 120, 144, 24, 120, and 72. Let me see, 24, let's just go with 12 and 12 there. 96, that's going to be 14, 14, 28, and 40. 120, so that's going to be 12, 28, 40, 40. Let's go over here to the other 120. 12, 12, 14, 14, 28, and 40. As you can see, we have a lot less wiggle room with the weights on Master Sleuth mode. So this is going to be 28, and then two 22s to make 72. And then we're just going to dump everything else on Peristyle. Got it. Now maybe Gregor will talk to me. Maybe. Hey, Gregor, talk to me. And and he's gone. Okay. This must be the red stitching Gregor mentioned on his tablet. Well, fine. I didn't want to talk to him. I wanted to spy on him. Plutus? That's not a character in the Persephone story. Hmm. Yeah. Plutus is one of those uh, underworld characters, but he's not in this story. That is so suspicious and mysterious that I'm going to ask for help from the Hardy Boys. How was the flight? 
Couldn't tell you. I slept right through. Slept on a flight? What witchcraft is this? She's a witch! Burn her! Hi, Joe. I do not consort with witches. Our in-flight movie was about Salem, and apparently Joe took away the wrong lesson. How have I lived this long without knowing how fun reckless accusations are? Anyway, how's Greece? Well, I'm having a bit of a problem. Hmm, perhaps you should try stepping into water and letting me know if you float. I'll add that to the list. Joe says he doesn't deal with witches, but I've met his girlfriend and I can tell you he's lying. Have you been able to look into the entire cast? Yeah, you're dealing with something really serious here. Tell me more. That's the thing. We're not sure. First red flag is the staff. As in, where is everyone? We reached out to the network to see if we could track down any of the workers who left. No one would talk? No one could be found. Oh. Keep quiet on that until we figure out what's happening. We can fill you in on everyone at the museum, but these are dangerous people. You have to tread lightly. Tread lightly? She's so bad at that. Thanks, Joe. Sorry. Just be careful. Something big is happening. <laughs> yeah, Nancy doesn't tread lightly. She's more the type who will break the fly system because it's fun. I found an odd list in Gregor's bag. That's where I'd keep an odd list. What's it say? It's a list of names. I guess that's odd. All lists are odd, come to think of it. Read me the names. Mikhail Dimitrov, Grant Nagy, Etienne Martin, Kurt Mueller, Emma Portnoy, and Kostas Bezos. We'll look into it. Hmm. Well, I hope they have that list memorized, because I'm not reading that list of names again. Oh, hey, Xenia! Hello. What can you tell me about Gregor? I like him. I know he's the type to flatter. I know it's self-serving to listen to him when he tells me I'm gorgeous and brilliant. But you know what? I can use the emotional junk food some days. It seems a little strange that there are only four people in the entire cast and crew. A good stage director doesn't cast herself, but I understand Persephone. Oh. Also, there's only four people in the cast and crew, so you didn't have a lot of choices. Okay, how? I was this happy girl, and one day I fell into this vast sadness. I got out of it, but just like Persephone, I know it will come back for me, even on my best days. I definitely see you have a personal connection with Persephone, but what happens if there's a problem during the performance and you're all on stage? I don't like to think about that. Hmm, I don't know. If I were you, Xenia, I would hire a couple of bodyguards, just in case Nancy goes crazy and decides to ruin the entire play. That's always a possibility when Nancy Drew is involved. What made you interested in ancient Greece? Hmm. I guess if I had to pick an answer, I'd say the ancient Greeks. Okay, fair answer. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Actually, I know a lot of people who were interested in the ancient Greeks because they learned about the ancient Romans. And there are other people who are interested in ancient Greeks because they like the modern Greeks. In any case, I think I've given Frank and Joe enough time to examine those names. Hello? Any word on the names I gave you? Actually, yes. It's a list of very wealthy individuals, many of whom have extensive art collections. Rich as Plutus, you could say. He was the god of being rich, which is a pretty top-shelf way to go through life, if you ask me. So you might want to talk to Gregor. Yeah, come to think of it, Plutus is one of the more interesting Greek gods. We should name a planet after him. I'm sure that would go well. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye.